So Doc, the world's a complex place and there's a lot of things going on right now. Um, limited resources. What is the Compression Institute um, trying to do to help business owners and managers deal with some of these issues? Oh, maybe 10 years ago I tried to invent the term compression that I thought was a little broader than sustainability to encompass the whole range of issues that beset people today. And it takes off from the idea of a spring. You press on a spring and it bounces back. That's resilient. And then you get, say, data compression. It's another idea. You take off on the idea of compression and physically you get a lot of different phenomena. What does that analogy mean? And what's the mess we have? Too many people. The world is fixed in size. Total number of people keeps expanding. There's less space for us. People all over the world keep moving from the land they can no longer live on into cities. How crowded can we live together? What's the effect? So the problem is not necessarily too many people, it's how much stuff do we use? So from here on, a simple way to think of it is how do we live as well or better and use a lot less stuff? probably right about peak energy, at least from fossil fuels. Nobody knows exactly. Same with minerals. The problem is how much effort does it take to get more stuff? And that's increasing. And so if you were to just take something like, oh, the Canadian tar sands, it takes a lot of energy to get a barrel of oil out of the tar sands. Whereas back when, you know, with a gusher, it was easy. When we're doing this, we're also decreasing biodiversity in many ways. That is a collection of life that's big enough to sustain itself indefinitely. It can keep evolving. That includes us, of course, but we keep messing up the rest of life. One reason we do it is we keep encroaching on it, keep extending the suburbs, keep cutting down trees, you know, if you're into it, you kind of know the story. So encroachment's one. The second one's toxins. So we got all kinds of chemicals all over the world, some of them used in large quantities, and we don't know what all those things do. Even the people that make them, the people that use them are sometimes unaware. So we're killing a lot of life without really being very aware that we're doing it. That can't go on indefinitely. Maybe old term is information overload. You know, people that are interested and concerned if they run businesses or not are just overwhelmed. There's too much to look at. And so what does that lead to? Another dimension of this is psychological. For instance, with social media and internet, what's the psychological impact? We're just beginning to discover that. Teenage suicides are up in the U.S. and some other places. Why? Well, is our our distance from nature and anything that's important to us getting to the point where a lot of people just live in this artificial world and they aren't really a person anymore, they're kind of a brand in the social milieu or something. The last one is just the complexity of the whole thing. What's complexity? Well, something that's pretty intricate, we'll say, is complex. If it's really complex, it's alive, it's changing, it's moving, it has a life of its own, it's not terribly predictable. And an awful lot of the world today is exactly that way. A lot of people in business call it uncertainty. How do you prepare for a world that's a mess, that's in a squeeze, it's very uncertain. We don't really know what's going to happen, none of us. But how can you be prepared to deal with that the best way possible?
that leads to what we've started to call compression thinking. What kind of change in thinking would it take to cope with this kind of world where you're just sort of overwhelmed and it's a but you want to keep going. How do you set up so that you are highly flexible to adapt to whatever is going to come at you and you really are doing something that makes the world we see more resilient and a better place? That's a huge change. That's probably a values change and even what we think is success. If I'm a businessman and I'm just being introduced to these um, ideas and the Compression Institute, what are some ways that you can help me? The Compression Institute wants to help people in business or thinking about it dig pretty deeply into what they do and why and figure out how they can cope with this. For people who are just being introduced to this idea in the Compression Institute, um, how would you sum that up? If I go back and simplify the whole thing, what do you really want to do? Live as well or better using a whole lot less. Let's just recognize that nobody is perfect, nobody is perfectly aligned, but what can we do to get much better aligned with nature's business model, not ours that keeps tearing up the earth? And so, please come and engage with us in learning experiences, webinars, learning groups, reflections, whatever we can bring your way. Cut.